all so much. I'm, um, well, not missed you. I mean, I've put up stuff, but I haven't put up anything makeup yet. So this is my first makeup tutorial for this this channel. So I'm really excited. I love how this came out, especially the lips. I've never used this lipstick before. Um, my dog wants attention right now, so she's in my lap at the moment. Um, not sorry about it either. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how to get some really nice glowy skin um, nice and hydrated for this time of year especially up north where I live um, well northern you know Michigan not northern Michigan but I live in Michigan but anyways um, so especially this time of year I start getting very dry I'm dry all year round and um, please knocking stuff over on my desk hmm. Anyways, so um, if you want to see how to get this look, keep on watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye. I'm going to start out with my Estee Lauder Illuminating Primer. It's called the Illuminator. I don't know if you can really see that. I have like a little ring light like right here. Um, working on getting some better lighting and everything. So I have that right here. I'm going to go ahead and just put this all over. So already you can kind of see that this has offered a lot of luminosity to my skin, which is what I like to go for. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually prime my eyes and my under eyes. I use the Urban Decay Primer Potion for this. So I don't know if it's just me, but concealers as a primer on myself do not work. I still have to prime with an eyeshadow primer. I'm going to go ahead and use a foundation that I haven't used in a while. Um, it is the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation from MAC, and I'm the shade NC15. I think this is more of a matte foundation, or like a semi-matte, I'm not sure. But um, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender for this. This is going to help sheer out the foundation a little bit, make it not too matte and um, offer a little bit of hydration. This is what we got going with so far, and you can definitely see my mustache. I'm not happy about that. <sighs> I promise, I'm a female. I don't know what to do because everything's gonna create a shadow right there well, that's all it is it's not like it's dark it's just because it's a shadow right now five o'clock shadow I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my concealers now I use the Tarte Shape Tape in light and I don't use a lot I'm just gonna do a line right here and then I'm gonna go in with my Estee Lauder double wear um, color correcting concealer duo I'm going to go with the full coverage side this is the shade peach I do tend to get um, kind of blue under my eyes so I add a little bit of this in with the shape tape just a little line right here then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender again and blend all of this out okay so now I'm gonna go in with my Estee Lauder um, perfectionist set highlight and powder duo in the shade number two one step. So I use this powder to set all of my concealer, so under my eyes, on my forehead, down my nose, and upper lip and chin. So for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape Smooth Operator. Tarte Shape Tape. Tarte smooth operator setting powder.
So I feel like I did lose a little bit of that luminosity from setting my face with the, the translucent powder. So I'm going to go back in with the same Estee Lauder setting powder, swirl the powder and the highlight together, and just do the same thing. And don't worry, there will be more highlighter. So the next thing I'm going to use is my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess bronzer. I would show you the shade. It is shade number one, but um, mine is shattered right now, so I'm trying to be very careful with it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use my Sigma F20 brush to put this Next, I'm going to use my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Feisty, and I'm using the Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush F40 for this. So for a little bit of contour, I'm going to be going in with the um, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Powder. This is the Medium Deep. I normally just do it right along here. Okay, now it's highlighter time. This is one of my favorite parts. I am excessive. You have to remember that I'm dry. I love the, the glowy look and everything. So um, my first highlight that I use is the MAC Soft and Gentle Baked Highlighter. And I use this angled brush here. It's by 6 Plus. Works for me. So I start right here, bringing it down, and adding it on top of my blush just a little bit right there. See, see the difference? And then I bring it up along the side of my brow, and then whatever I have left at this point, I will go down my nose, do a little bit of that, my upper lip and my chin, just whatever I have left. And then I go back in with just a little bit and I put this on the center of my forehead. I love this highlighter. It is the Smashbox Shimmer Soft Lights Highlighter. You can tell how much I love it. Look at that pan, look at that pan. Okay, so I focus this one just along the cheekbones. So there's the face, nice and glowy. I'm going to do something very simple with my eyes today. So the first thing that I like to do is go in with a big fluffy brush like this one, and I go into the same bronzer that I used. In this case, it's the Estee Lauder um, Bronze Goddess in the shade Light. And I use that as my transition shade. So then I'm going to go into my original Tartlet palette here, and I'm going to shade, take the shade Force of Nature, which is this guy right here. Hello, mirror! I'm going to put that in the same general area, same brush too. The next shade I'm going to go in with is Dreamer. Hello, me. Dreamer, this one right here. It's more of a darker brown. I'm using the same brush again. And I'm going to bring it down farther into the crease. More on the outer corner. For this next step, I'm going to go ahead and take Multitasker right here at the very end. And I'm taking a smaller fluffy brush. 
And I'm just going to do a little, like kind of like a wing. Like start right here and just bring it down. And bringing that also down on the lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and take that same multitasker color on a flat, flat definer brush like this one. And I'm going to create an eyeliner. No wing, just, just a line. I don't want to go too far in on the lower lash line. I'm going to go ahead and take Force of Nature, Nature on a pencil brush and blend this up. So at this point we're going to go ahead and go back into the same highlighters that we used on our face. And first I'm going to go in back in with the shimmer from Smashbox. And this is going on the inner half of my eyelid. And then on the inner corner of my eyes, I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Soft and Gentle. Because this is just going to add a little bit of a glow on the inner corner. And for this, I want just a little bit of a glow here. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of a pencil eyeliner in my waterline. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Infinite waterproof eyeliner in the shade, it's a black, um, Coal Noir. And I'm just going to put that in the inner half. For my lashes, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. Look at that. Ripley. I love you. I love you. <sighs> love her. She drives me crazy, but I love her. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off screen. I do need to get them done. They're not terrible, but they could be a lot better. So I'm not going to do anything too sculpted with them. So all I'm going to do is um, fill them in with the Tinted Brow Mascara by NYX. This is the shade Brunette. Yeah, Brunette. So for my lips today, I'm going to go ahead and use the shade Irresistible by Estee Lauder. Really pretty. I've actually never used this one before. So we're going to give it a try. I love this lipstick. Wow. Irresistible by Estee Lauder. I can tell that it's not going to like stay in place, but I think that once like the glossiness fades off, I think it'll be like a soft matte. But it's so comfortable. I love this. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to go fix my hair and I'll be right back. So my hair is as good as it's going to get. My blow dryer is not that good. So I'm just like, I'd let it air dry, but whatever. So this is the completed look. I do wear glasses, so that's what's going on here. Um, like I said, I love this lipstick. I hate the shadow that this ring light is giving me, making it look like I have a freaking mustache. But what are you going to do? I'm going to have to get it waxed soon. Ripley is very intrigued. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how I, this is how I get my glowy skin. Something nice and natural um, on the eyes. This little one wants attention. What? Um, 
So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoy. If you like it, give it a, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. I'm a little bit in a, um, I'm in a little bit of a rut as far as makeup looks that I would like to do. Um, so ask and you will receive. So I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'm thinking that we're going to get some good, uh, some good holiday looks up. What do you think? I love holiday makeup. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Bye.